This question belongs to algorithm subject and was asked in GATE CSC 2023. So the question states, let u be a set having the elements 1, 2, 3 and let 2 to the power at u denote the power set of u. Consider an undirected graph G whose vertex set is 2 to the power u. So we have u equals to 1, 2, 3. So what is 2 to the power u? 2 to the power u will have elements like 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. It will have 8 elements. An undirected graph whose vertex set is u. Okay, so we have a graph having u as its vertex set. So let us draw the vertices. 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, and we have 1, 2, 3. So these are the vertices. Then it says for any a b belongs to 2 to the power u. So for any item a comma b, a comma b is an edge in g. So an edge we have a condition for edge. If the for is that the first item shouldn't be equal to the second item, which means there is no self loops. Like one doesn't equal to one, which means there shouldn't be a self loop on us an item. And either a is a proper subset. This is basic. Either we can write proper subset like this, or we can write proper subset like this. And which means a is a either a is a proper subset of b or b is a proper subset of a. Okay. So what edges will be there? So phi is a proper subset of every set. Yes. So we will have edge from phi to everyone. Two three and two one two three. Okay. Then one is a proper subset of 1, 2, 1 is a proper subset of 1, 3 and 1 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3, yes. 2 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 2 is a proper subset of 2, 3 and 2 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3 and we have 3 is a proper subset of 1, 3, 3 is a proper subset of 2, 3 and 3 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3, yes. And then we have 1, 2 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3, 2, 3 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3. Now it says, yes, for any vertex A in G, the set of all possible orderings in which the vertices of G can be visited in a breadth first search starting from A is denoted by B of A. So B of A is basically the cardinality of the number of BFS possible starting from A. If phi is the empty set, so we have phi over here, then it is asking the cardinality of B of phi. So what is its meaning? Number of breadth first searches starting at phi. Starting at phi. So here, as we know, phi is a proper subset of every set. Proper subset of every set. Yes. And we can also say that thus we will have edge from phi to every other possible set of this. We will have seven edges from phi to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. And if we have this edge then which means from phi we can go to any vertex and then which means from phi we have seven possible pairing and these can be organized in seven factorial ways. So the answer is basically 7 factorial. Let us calculate 7 factorial. It's 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is equals to 5040. So the answer basically is 5040. So the main point is that phi is a proper subset of every set, which means from phi we can go to any other set and they can be organized in 7 factorial ways. And we can go from the point A if we can go to A as well as B as well as C from a point X. Then these ABC can be organized in three factorial ways, either ABC or ACB or BAC or BCA or CAB or CBA. Thus, we have n factorial over here. So for 7, we have 7 factorial and its value equals to 5040.